in today's video I really want to show you how to make a body chain out of men necklaces and a pair of scissors so this tutorial is to show you a cheap way of doing that so for example instead of using a pliers to make the body chain I'm going to be using a pair of scissors why because uh, pliers is slightly expensive than a pair of scissors so some of the things that I would say to take into consideration when buying your necklaces is firstly try to make a rough measurement or rough estimate of how you want your body chain to sit on your body so that will just give you an idea of how many necklaces you need to make your body chain with which drives me to the second point which is when buying your necklaces try to buy them in excess so let's say from your rough estimate you um, estimated that you need maybe four necklaces try to buy five necklaces instead so that if there's any shortage that is encountered during your process of making your body chain you can easily just get a bit from the the fifth chain and just snip off the excess okay so that at least helps not to defeat the whole purpose of making your body chain using your necklaces so the third point is to try to buy necklaces that have got a metal ring with a slit in them so the slit just makes it easier to open or cut through and join other necklaces to it to make your body chain which gets rid of the pressure in trying to break through or open through a metal ring that is completely welded and sealed I personally like very very thin and very very skinny necklaces because I think they look a little more sexy and a little more nice for me and uh, another thing to consider is also clasps I know necklaces always have clasps but uh, just have an idea of what type of clasp you want your necklace to have I didn't know about clasps a long time ago not until I just randomly had the idea of wanting to know what those clasps are called and if they are different types. I knew there were different types, I just didn't know the names of the different types. The common ones that I've seen are the lobster clasp, the um, spring, ring, spring ring clasp and also the ace hook uh, clasp. So you can choose whatever you want. That's not really a very big necessity as long as there's a clasp then you're good to go. Another thing that I wanted to say also was that my love for body chain started while I was in primary and spelt into secondary and also when I went to the university. So I first saw a body chain from Rihanna and Beyonce and um, when I saw it I was like oh my gosh I have to get it but at that time while I was in primary and secondary, especially primary I was still a little too young to have a body chain and I was just saying when I get older I'm going to buy myself a body chain and I'm going to wear it and blah blah blah. I have actually tried and attempted to make a body chain. That was while I was at the university in my second year, which was between the years of 2015 and 2016. And I remember it vividly because I actually had a friend group me by the side while I was making it. And I was only able to make it because in the past, while I was in my primary grades of school, my mom gave me a really long chain, which at the time she didn't have any use for. I also didn't know what I was going to use it for at the time. So I just kept it and always said that when I find something to, to, to make, out of it i'm going to make that at the back of my mind as i um, advanced in years when i always saw it i always said i'll make a body chain i'll make a body chain but i just kept it in my head so this is the body chain that i made this is the ring this is the small circle that goes around the neck and it has a lobster clasp there which makes it easier easy to put on and then the bigger ring goes around the waist which has a lobster clasp as well to make it easy to put on and these actually are different chains if you look at them nicely this one looks like this this one looks like that and actually has rusted i don't put it on because majority of the body comes i mean is exposed to it so i just leave it to help me figure out an example of how to make a body chain but for some for the necklaces that i bought for this particular purpose are here i actually got five of them so these are the necklaces that i'm going to be using to make my body chain yep. last thing i forgot to show you is the pair of scissors that i'll be using so like i said it's just going to be a mere or regular basic pair of scissors okay so that's it for this part of the video the introductory part so let's now look at how the process is done and after that then you're good to go let's get on with the making 
keep up with the chain. The first thing is to prepare your necklaces and get them ready. In my case, I had five necklaces, like I said before. And at some point in the video, even though I didn't mention, I'm only going to use four necklaces and not five. So once your necklaces and scissors are ready, we get started. So firstly, I am just aligning my necklaces, just opening them up to see what I'm going to be working with. So from this set, I'm only going to remove one, which is the one that is going to go around my neck. So I'm just going to close it up and then put it aside. Then next, this is where the metal slitted ring comes in handy. So I'm just going to open that up and detach the clasp and metal ring from the necklace. So I was supposed to attach that back, but I just wanted to show this for visual sake. So I do the same to the rest of the necklaces. And what I end up with is a flat metal piece on one side where the clasp was sitting and a round welded circle on the other side. So now I have my necklaces with the detached clasps ready for use. So from all four, you can see that one side has the flat pieces and the other side has the round circles. Again, just for clarity, these are the necklaces that I'm going to use. Three, that will go on the rest of the body and the other one with the clasp around my neck. So, starting with the waistline, bringing in all the ends of the necklaces, this is where the error comes in. I put them together and then using the clasp and the metal slitted ring, I'm going to distribute these to all the ends for attachment papers. And this is where I did not use three necklaces for the waistline, I only used two. Okay, so right now I am attaching the slitted metal ring or jump ring to the round circle side of one necklace and I'm also going to attach another round circle side of another necklace to the same jump ring and close those two together using a pair of scissors. So using the pair of scissors again, I'm just going to make sure that I tightly close that jump ring to make sure it's tightly sealed, closed and secure in a secured position. So behind the camera, I quickly attached the clasp and jump ring that I removed from the first necklace in the beginning of the video for demonstration's sake to one of the flat end sides of one of the necklaces that I've just joined together right now. And I closed the clasp to the other flat end of the second necklace just to close them together and that makes the waistline for the body chain. And here is a close-up view of the joint point of the jump ring to the two round circle sides of the two necklaces. Moving on, so using the same jump ring of the two necklaces for the waistline, I'm going to join a third necklace that will run down the trunk and I'm going to use the circle side of this necklace and attach it to the jump ring at the first joint point. And what I have now is a triple round circle joint point. I just realized that the necklace that was going to run down my trunk was too long so I decided to cut a few centimeters out to make it a bit shorter. Since this necklace has a dented pattern I'm going to cut through the round metal rings in between the dented pieces to remove the few centimeters that I don't need in this body chain. So after the cuttings, what I have remained with are two dented ends of the trunk necklace pieces that need to be attached together using a jump ring.
now that I'm done with the waistline and the trunk area the trunk area remember the top part has that flat end piece of the necklace so that's what I'm going to be attaching to the necklace or neckline of the body chain now I'm going to use the necklace that I put aside in the beginning of the video specifically for the necklace section of this body chain so right now I'm trying to locate the midpoint or center point of this necklace that I'm going to use to join to the flat piece of the trunk necklace section of the body chain using a jump ring And finally after securing that last portion of the body chain, I now have a completed body chain piece.